Back to Finley Stadium, Lindsey Wilson victorious here, 21 to four. Coach Chris Oliver joins me here now, high above the field here at Finley Stadium. Coach, uh, it wasn't always pretty, at least offensively, yeah. but uh, you know what? It was. Uh, it's a win. It's a, it's a good bounce back, and uh, you know, I, I got to think you, you love taking that uh, Highway 55 uh, sign back home. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and um, you know, I want to start off with two things before we get into the game. Um, you know, I don't know if we talked about Coach Daniel Cotter and, and his wife Paige, and, and uh, they're two beautiful kids, and, and you know, his their baby girl. And, and uh, our thoughts and you know, prayers are with them. And, you know, there's more important stuff in football, and uh, that's one of them. So we miss them today, and, and uh, you know, we, we uh, want to support that situation. And the second thing is, uh, you know, there's never been a more selfless guy come through our football program yep. than Ron Walker. And uh, <clears throat> proud of him. He uh, has not played a varsity snap until today. And uh, you know, he's a senior, and, and I tell you, and I, 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 it's not, it's not playing it up. I mean, we've never had a more selfless guy come through our program than Ron Walker, and, and he has stuck it out. And uh, he's a great young man. He got his first varsity snap today, and uh, his teammates and coaches you know, couldn't be more excited for him. So you know, there's two big things there of very different dynamics. Um, yeah, we're happy we won the game. Um, I'm excited that we get to take that trophy home. Excited that we get to be on top in the in the rivalry for the first time. Those things are great. Um, but you know, two other other things on our mind. Yeah, Ron Walker. It was it was so neat that uh, after the game, everybody's patting him on the helmet, yeah. and, and you could just see he was one of the guys down there, one of the first guys to the traveling trophy as well. <laughs> and you could see the big smile on his yeah. face, and uh, it, it, you know, college athletics is is a great thing, and and. That right there, the joy that you could see on that young man's face for getting to be on the field and, and uh, being part of that. Uh, not that he wasn't a part. He's been a part of it for four years. For sure, yeah. Uh, no question about it. But uh, it was really, really neat to see that to see that joy on his face. Yeah, it was a cool moment. And it's cool uh, when you see your teammates react like that. That is r really what is indicative of, of uh, you know, their just respect for him and what they're doing. So very cool moment. Defense was outstanding today. I mean, they were they awesome. were lights out yep. all day long. Uh, five takeaways. Yeah. There was an opportunity for more, but I got to think uh, five takeaways. You take that every week. Yeah, we did a good job stopping the run. Uh, obviously, they struggled to throw the ball consistently. You know, and they're going through some quarterback struggles and injuries and those things, and playing some young guys. But I thought we did a good job stopping the run, so that we kind of made them have to continue to go to the pass and we kept the pressure on the quarterbacks throughout the day and, and had some interceptions. And so I, I'm really excited about our defense. It's a shame we couldn't get a shutout for them, uh, you know, with, with uh, the two safeties I mean, four points in a football game. I mean, that's, I, I'm assume, I think that's the first time that's happened in LWC uh, games. We made history here in game 101, um, but really happy with our defense. They played outstanding. And, and you know, you have different dynamics every season, every uh, part in the season, you know, different dynamics. You know, right now we're an offense that's banged up and, and you know, we're not playing our best. And, you know, that's not going to be an excuse. We've got to continue to fight and get better. Uh, and it's got to be next man up. Uh, but our defense stepped up today and, and we played good team football, even though it wasn't pretty all the time on offense. We played good team football and, and you know, one side lifted the other up and, and proud of our guys for how they fought. Offensively, just from up here, we're above the, the, the field. So, and again, we're not making excuses. That win looked like it blew some of the long balls, the yeah. long shots down the field that, that you guys try to get. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a really breezy day. And, you know, I, I this the wind does whip here a little bit in a different way with the way the stadium sets. It seems like there's a lot of stadiums in the Mid-South Conference that are built that way. Okay. Um, I, I don't know how much of a factor that it, it really was. Uh, a little bit, you know, a little bit coming to play, but you know, we we got to make those plays, and you know, you're going to get into late season games, late October and November, and, and you know, wind is going to be a factor, and you know, we still have to overcome those things and make those plays when they come more often. Lindsey Wilson wins it by a score of 21 to four, as uh, Coach alludes to. Now owns a five to four series uh, lead over over Campbellsville. Uh, what did you what did you say to the guys after the game? Yeah, I was pretty short. I was a little emotional just about uh, those other things yeah. on my mind. I'm proud of Ron. It was such a cool moment, and, and just uh, you know watching our guys celebrate coming off 
couple tough weeks and just a tough week of preparation and challenging to come back and keep on fighting and, and uh, you know play a little bit left-handed at some positions. So I was a little bit overcome, uh, you know, there just with the situation. And, and uh, you know, so I was pretty quick. <laughs> just said, hey, I'm <laughs> proud of you. We challenge you to come back. And we talked about, hey, we can be a team on Saturday that, that gets to celebrate and, 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 and have that 5-4 to four advantage for the first time and, and, and you know, have the advantage in the series. And so we played that up. And, and you know, I'm a 1-0 guy. Yep. You know, one game isn't bigger than, than another. But there are certain aspects of games you want to make sure guys understand. And we talked about the history of this series as we got through the week and it was just good to see our guys come out and, and overcome some some challenges and, and you know play well and play together and get the win. One of the things that's really cool about a rivalry series and, and, and they're throughout college football I mean at every level but one of the things I'm looking down at the field right now and that yeah. that 55 signs being passed around there's gonna be a lot of photos <laughs> taken with of people with it and, and, and that's just that's one of the cool things about about a rivalry game. Yeah it's a cool thing and it's a great trophy and and um, you know, we're, we're, it's it's in all of our sports. You know that we talk about the Battle of Highway 55 and football. We get the trophy, and you know it's it's pretty special. I know we, we said, hey, we're up five to four, but you know it's pretty special that we won five out of six. Yeah. And uh, you know that's a that's a that's a special thing for us. It wasn't too long ago where. I remember uh, coming up here and, and getting our, our teeth kicked in a little bit by uh, a team that was better than us when we started. And uh, you know, I'm just proud of our guys for, for what they've achieved and all the credit goes to them. Coach, thanks so much. Congratulations on the win. Safe journey back to those 18 yeah, we'll, miles. We'll take it. All right. That's LWC head football.